Windows of Opportunity, a testimony by Kathy Bryant. Hebrews 3, 12 and 13. Take care, brethren, that there not be in any one of you an evil, unbelieving heart that falls away from the living God. But encourage one another day after day, as long as it is still called today, so that none of you will be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. During the 365 days each year provides, we have a small window of opportunity for each part of the gardening process, planning, soil preparation, purchasing plants and seeds, growing seedlings, planting the garden, watering, weeding, pruning, and harvesting. If we miss even one of these windows of opportunity, it affects all of the subsequent parts of the process. The same is true with our lives. We have a small window of opportunity to accept the work of Christ in our life's garden. The above passage from Hebrews calls it today. In all truth, none of us are guaranteed another breath or beat of our heart. So we would be wise to allow God entrance into our gardens to do his divine work without hardening our hearts toward him through unbelief or wasting time. I know I have only a small window of opportunity with each person I come in contact with throughout my days. Will I love them like Christ commanded me to do? Will I feed those who are hungry? Visit those who are lonely? Will I share God's love with them? I can by recognizing the windows of opportunity God has placed in my life. God, time can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it is a gift from you, an opportunity to allow you access to my life and to share your love with others. On the other hand, it is fleeting. Teach me to number my days, Lord, to make the most of every opportunity to love and serve you while it is still today. Amen. Now my heart
There is